Now let us today discuss the important questions of the plane in which we have to find out the distance of the point. That let us suppose the point is minus two, three, minus four from the line. That is your line, and the equation of the line is that is x minus minus one by one, y minus two by three, and z plus one by minus nine. You have to be find out the distance of this point. Let us suppose this point is P from the line, and let us suppose this point is Q, which is measured parallel to the plane. This line and this plane both are parallel to each other. That is the equation of the plane. Now you know any point on the line is equal to what? That is equal to lambda. So the point here is what x. That is lambda plus one by that is 3 lambda plus 2 and z that is minus 9 lambda minus 1 now let us prove that these are the coordinate of what q these are the coordinate of q so you know that this point this pq line and the plane are both are parallel to each other so that is the normal of the plane that is the normal of the plane which is parallel to this line so these both are what perpendicular to each other now let us find out the first of all the direction ratios of pq so pq's direction ratios are drs are that is you know lambda plus 1 plus 2 3 lambda plus 2 minus 3 and minus 9 lambda minus 1 plus 4 so what are the direction ratios of pq that is lambda plus 3 Three lambda minus one minus nine lambda plus three. These are the direction ratios of PQ. Now PQ is perpendicular to what? The normal of the plane. And you know that A one A two plus B one B two plus C one C two is equal to zero. Then the two lines are what? Perpendicular to each other. So the direction ratios of this one is what? That is one minus one and two. So lambda plus three. Multiply by one. This one, this is the direction ratios of what? Plane plus three lambda minus one. That is minus one plus minus nine lambda plus three. Multiply by two, and that is equal to what? Zero. Now solve the equation. That is lambda plus three minus three lambda plus one minus eighteen lambda plus six is equal to zero. Finally, solve this one, and you will get the value of lambda is equal to what? One by two. Now put this value of lambda one by two here in these coordinates. Then one by two plus one, that is three into one by two plus two, and minus nine into one by two minus one. So, what are the coordinate of this cube? That is equal to what? Three by two. Seven by two and minus eleven by two. These are the coordinate of what? Q. Now we have to find out the distance between the PQ. So you know the distance formula. What is the distance formula? That is x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square. So what are the points here? That is three by two. Plus two whole square plus seven by two minus three whole square plus minus eleven by two plus four whole square. Calculate this value. You will get root fifty nine by two units. So that is the distance of the point P from the point Q, which is measured parallel to the plane. That is the equation of the plane. So first of all, you have to find out. The any point on this line, and you know that is equal to what lambda. Then you have to find out the direction ratios of PQ, and these direction ratios of PQ and normal of the plane both are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, this equation a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 is equal to what zero. From here you will get the value of lambda. Then put the value of lambda here, so you will get the coordinate of what Q. And finally you have to find out the distance of PQ. That is by distance formula. And that is fifty nine by two.